back, foodie friends. I'm Joni, your host, and with me are an amazing duo to feed body and soul, Chef Martin Kaspar of Lantracote and Father Joel Kamaya of Don Bosco. We are Gourmet on a Budget PH, and we are bringing you gourmet recipes at a fraction of the cost with a little something extra, some divine inspiration to help you cook from the heart. So today's recipe is tuna in black pepper crust with a ginger tomato mayonnaise, bihon noodles with a pomelo salad. So is this like a tuna tataki? Yeah, I would say so, yes. Yeah, I'm glad that the recipe uses tuna as previous recipes have already discussed the significance of fish in the Bible. But for today, I think it would be nice to share some insight about fruit since we're using pomelo in the recipe. We're using pomelo, bihol noodles from Excellent, chicken broth, shallots, spring onions, coriander or cilantro. We have tomato, we have a little bit of sesame oil, some roasted garlic, uh, white wine vinegar, and of course, salt and pepper. We have the tuna tataki, so we have the tuna loin. We have crushed black peppercorn, and then we have mayonnaise, which we're gonna mix with some ketchup, a uh, little bit lime inside, a little bit uh, cayenne pepper, uh, and a little bit squeezes of ginger, ginger juice. So it's gonna be a little bit spicy. So we're gonna cook this because we're gonna do a, a salad. I'm making a salad out of it. So I need to have the noodles cooked ahead of time. Okay. So what I have here is a little bit chicken stock because I want that the beyond noodles have a little bit flavor, right? Okay. So we bring yeah. this to boil, put this here inside, and then we let this simmer till those noodles are actually nice. Now for the tuna, Father, maybe you want to help me. Okay, we yeah. need to put black peppercorn around. <laughs> we take the tuna. Yes. First season with a little bit salt. Turn this around. Other side. Yep. Voila. And then, now please, take one and then put nicely black peppercorn around. Okay. Yeah, nicely press, ever, press everywhere okay. a little bit. Yeah. And then, yeah. all right. All the sides. Exactly. So I'll bring it back. Yeah, you bring it back. And then the other one. Yes. There's also different black peppercorn on the market. So it's really, there's really black peppercorn. There is so many different varieties. A little bit more spicy and more flavorsome. Perfect. Okay. Voila. So what we're going to do now with the, which out also a little bit of the on the It's the same. The nice actually expands, so which mm -hmm. is nice. Then we turn on. High heat, low heat. High heat. High. And we use olive oil. Two tablespoons olive oil. So tuna tatak is actually seared tuna in pepper crust, so which mm -hmm. we sear on all four sides. Okay. Put it on the side, give it a little bit of rest, and then we just slice it. So outside is nicely crisp, and a little bit spicy, and inside we still have the raw tuna. Oh. And then the, the bihon noodle salad with all these ingredients which we actually mix up together. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be nice. Oh, so it's good. very, very refreshing salad with the tuna, which has a little bit of spicy, a spicy sauce. So those noodles, they need about five minutes. You like to see it? Do I just use my hands? Uh, you can, yeah. Again, Again you know. Away. Uh, away from you. Okay. Don't be afraid. Never be afraid. Wow. Don't be afraid of the hot oil. We have respect, mm -hmm. but we don't need to be afraid. Okay. Voila. Perfect. Wow, this is quite a number of ingredients. And uh, what we see here, there are several fruits, right? You have uh, pomelo and... Uh, is that considered the fruit, the lime also? I have lime, which is yeah. actually also, yeah. And then you were saying that tomato is a uh, fruit. Actually also okay. fruit, so yeah. While you're preparing uh, all of these, I'd like to talk about the significance of fruits in the Bible. In a previous episode, we have mentioned that the Hebrew word for fruit is peri. In the New Testament, we find the Greek word for it, karpos. In fact, Jesus was referred to as the fruit of the womb of Mary. Remember that, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. When we speak of fruit in the Bible, we right away remember the produce of an area in the ancient Near East. The ancient Near East is what we call now the Middle East. And that's, uh, that area is called the Fertile Crescent, where there are a lot of uh, agricultural products. And so the seven species, in Hebrew, it is uh, Shivat Haminim. There are seven agricultural products. There are two grains and five fruits which are listed in the Hebrew Bible and these are special products of the land of Israel and so the seven species listed the two grains are wheat and barley and then the five fruits grape, fig, pomegranates, olive and 
dates. And you see there you get the, for example, wine and then the oil and their honey. And you find that in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 8. Their first fruits were the only acceptable offerings in the temple. And I'd like to share with you something, okay? That one of my favorite passages in the Bible is the offering of the first fruits. And that's Deuteronomy 26. And I'd like to uh, narrate it to you, read it. And it says, When you come into the land which the Lord your God is giving you as heritage, and have taken possession and settled in it, you shall take some first fruits of the various products of the soil, which you harvest from the land the Lord your God is giving you. Put them in a basket, and then go to the place which the Lord your God will choose as the dwelling place for his name. And there you shall go to the priest in the office at that time and say to him, Today I acknowledge to the Lord my God that I have indeed come into the land which the Lord swore to our ancestors to give us. And then, just imagine the priest taking the basket from your hands and then set it in front of the altar, the fruits there. And then you shall declare in the presence of the Lord your God, My father was a refugee Aramean who went down to Egypt with a small household and lived there as a resident alien. But there he became a nation great, strong, and numerous. When the Egyptians maltreated and oppressed us, imposing harsh servitude upon us, we cried to the Lord, the God of our ancestors. The Lord heard our cry and saw our affliction, our toil and our oppression. Then the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a strong hand and outstretched arm, with terrifying power, with signs and wonders, and brought us to this place and gave us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. Now therefore, I have brought the first fruits of the products of the soil which you, Lord, have given me. Fruits. This is the profession of faith of the Israelites. Ah, uh, yes. Fruits are truly such a blessing from the bountiful harvest made by our Creator. So thank you so much, Father, for sharing this with us. And I guess back to the stovetop again now, Chef. Yeah, uh, so our Bihon noodles are cooked. Again, we, we check them out if they are cooked or not. Mm -hmm. So it's very mild, so it should be okay. okay. Don't be afraid of the heat, it can only burn you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that. Mm, wow. It's so tasty. Mm. So, mm. good enough cooked, yeah. long enough, right? So, now we take them out and we just let them cool down a little bit. Just put a little bit outside. Just leave it on the air while we prepare the other. This cools a little bit down, and later on this will be nicely kind of warm with the other ingredients. The tuna, I see it already on all sides, mm -hmm. so we have this nicely there prepared. So Beautiful. So for the sauce, we have mayonnaise, okay. ketchup. the ketchup, and then we need to use a little bit of ginger. We scrape the ginger a little bit, and we use a spoon, right? Mm -hmm. Because the easiest way. And then we need the grater. There you go. And thank you. And we need to create a little mm, bit of ginger. ginger. All the juice coming out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't need that much. Just a little bit is okay. And then we add this here. Oh, to the, just a little bit. To the, and we want to spice it up a little bit. So we have a little bit cayenne pepper, or mm. chili pepper. Mm -hmm. Add this in. Voila. And we need a little bit lime. Lime. Just squeeze inside. And now please mix. So it becomes like a calypso sauce, actually. Okay. The sauce with, may with ketchup and mayonnaise, we call calypso sauce, calypso. or also Thousand Island, actually. Yeah. So. Okay, and we go in. Good. It's, ama <laughs> it's amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, our sauce is ready. So, we're gonna work now on the vegetable. We need pomelo. I love pomelo. Mm -hmm. So all of these ingredients now we actually put all in a bowl. In a bowl. So pomelo, which we just cut, which just kind of, and the other inside as well. The next one. <laughs> yes. Then we have coriander. I have some baby coriander, which are just also chop up a little bit. Put them here inside as well. Then we take shallots. Mm -hmm. Also the shallots we add here inside. And one more. That's so exciting, that's so colorful. Voila. Wow. Let's stop with the slice it, add it up. It looks so fresh. Then we take the tomato. Tomato. And the tomato we only want 
the outer part, the ledges actually. Also gives us a little bit nice color. And some nicely juicy tomato is really something nice to have. You could actually also use sun-dried tomato. That would actually be also something mm -hmm. if you have sun-dried tomato. Then we add a little bit vinegar. vinegar. What kind of vinegar is this? I have a white wine vinegar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We add a little bit sesame oil. Wow. Wow. So, a little salt and pepper. Yeah, exactly. Then a little bit chives. Very healthy too. Yeah, some chives. And also what you want to put inside, so it also have a little bit different texture. They come nicely the fruity, mm -hmm. then you have the shallots, and then you have the tomatoes, so they go actually all goes nicely together. Yeah. Mix this up. Mmm, that looks so good. <laughs> then we take the noodles. Mm. Ah. Add this to the salad. Interesting. I know. Because <laughs> we always have Bihon as like, just pan yeah. it. So yep. I never thought it would be good for this. <laughs> Something different, right? So, yeah. so what we still need is a little bit of lime. Okay, yeah. And as you see, this goes pretty fast, actually, right? Lina Sigo, you know, that's something I learned. I actually do that at home now. Mm -hmm. It's always nice to, right? You want to be clean, you want to be neat. Yeah, it keeps you want everything to... in order as well. Exactly. So, we take the plate, take some of this salad. Okay. Again, plating. So, the chef, we learn how to make these presentations. Mm -hmm. It's just about, presentations. like I said, it's about, you know, eating with your eyes, right? Yeah. So. Plus, it's Instagrammable. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Which is true. Yeah, it's some it's beautiful, beautiful presentation. Yeah, it's beautiful. Wow. Okay. Then we add a little bit some of this. Uh, I love that it inside. looks like this because we always think of Bion as just pansit. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and it's I like it actually. It's so refreshing actually. When you, wow. you put the vinaigrette in it or whatever. And just goes to show that you can do so many things with mm -hmm. Bion. Then we take tuna and. Wow. <laughs> then we take them. This is beautiful. We add this around. That's lovely. Okay. It's a work of art. <laughs> so the tuna as well, the longer the cook, the more well done it becomes, right? Mm -hmm. Or you can have it more rare. So that's yeah. a little bit up wow. to you. So this is nicely medium rare. Then here comes the sauce. See this? You just wow. put around tuna. It looks like summer. Wow. <laughs> Chef, that really looks lovely. And as <laughs> always, I think it's my favorite time again. <laughs> time to eat. Time to eat. <laughs> and it's so perfect for the rainy season, like on days where you feel heavy, when you're not in the mood, when you're presented with something like this, it just makes you happy. So, uh, yeah. so this is my so tuna tataki with bihon noodle salad with pomelo. Okay. Great. <laughs> so, here's the spoon and fork. Thank you. Okay, please. Thank you. So, we have tuna tataki with this tomato ginger mayonnaise with the pomelo salad with the bihon noodle from Excellent. Yay. So, excellent. Yeah. it's excellent. Yes. <laughs> please stick it. Try it. Oh, it's so soft. Wow. Good. <laughs> mm. So, it's nice, spicy. And yeah. then you go to the mm. salad, and then when you come to the salad, that will give you the refreshment. It's a very good combination outside, the one, the part mm -hmm. that's seared, and then the inside. Mm. It's crispy on the outside, Yeah. and the inside so Tender, nice and so soft and soft. moist. So, thank you again for joining us on this episode. As you can see, it's very tasty, they're still eating. So, but please check out our website to get this recipe. Have a gourmet feast of your own, in your home. So, till the next time, this is Gourmet on a Budget PH. The, the difference, difference is divine. divine. God bless us all. God bless you.
make all our recipes and find new insights on the spiritual significance of the food we eat. Please like, share, and subscribe to Gourmet on a Budget PH to stay posted every time we upload a new recipe.